Hi everybody, Kimberly Berg here with the Rebel Fit Club here in Portland, Oregon. We're still having classes here, but I, I have subscribers all over the country. I thought, what can I do for them? I have not abandoned you. Every Monday you'll still get your blog. And today we're gonna start out with the most basic, beautiful exercise there is, and that is breathing. So um, I'm gonna show you one that I used to use every day when I uh, worked in pulmonary rehab and we had some very, very ill patients and this brought them a lot of relief, but it's also very healing. So uh, we're gonna start out with a TheraBand. I have kind of a medium weight here. If you don't have a TheraBand, it's okay, because I'm gonna show you how to do it without. But we're gonna start out by taking the TheraBand and wrapping it behind our backs. And you want it relatively flat, although I know some of them are really hard to get flat, or your mobility may prevent you from being able to get it flat. So I have pretty flat. Um, you can do this exercise standing or seated, as long as you're nice and tall. So we're gonna start off by being very nice and tall. I have my hands, palms up, like I'm holding a platter, with my thumbs facing outward, like I'm hitchhiking in both directions at the same time. You're gonna be tall. This is the side view and back view. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cross it over. My hands are still palms up and you can see there's an X there. All right, now for you ladies, this is gonna go along the bra line. You're gonna be tall. It's gonna wrap around your ribs and be snug. You're going to put your elbows by your side like you have a quarter under each elbow. And you're gonna be tall again, long neck, and think about a lot of space between this last rib and the top of your hip. I want you to be that tall, okay? Now, a lot of people, when they are stressed, or sometimes it's just a bad habit, they breathe with their secondary respiratory muscles and their shoulders go up and down, which causes a lot of neck pain, headaches, and back pain. So we're gonna think tall and we're not gonna allow our shoulders to start creeping up. Now, I want you to pull the band, the ends of the bands in opposite directions so it's pretty snug around your ribs. And I want you to breathe into the band. I want you to take three breaths right now. Now, I don't know if you noticed or not, the band that I'm holding was moving in and out, which means my ribs are moving, and that's what we want. So I want you to watch again. As I breathe in, my hands come together. As I exhale, I'm pulling them apart. Breathe in and out. Got it? We want you to feel your ribs expanding on the side, but more importantly, in your back, because your ribs have to move three-dimensionally. So you're gonna breathe in, exhale. Now notice my shoulders aren't coming up and down, and I can still move my head and I can swallow, which means I'm not tense. Now we're gonna do it for a count of 10. So we're gonna breathe a good breath in, and hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. We're gonna do it again. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a bonus, and exhale. Good. Did you have to cough during that time? That's one of the tests to see if your lungs are healthy is to be able to take a big diaphragmatic breath, hold it for 10 seconds, and then exhale. Then you know you have good, healthy lungs. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it without the band. We're gonna drop the band, stand up or sit, very nice and tall. You're going to take your hands and wrap them around. Notice that my fingers are in front my thumbs 
are in back. Now, notice the distance between my fingers. If you have mobility issues in your shoulders and they come up like this, I don't want you to have that position. I would like you to slide it down until you can get a long neck that you can turn your head. And it may be that your first, your index finger and your thumb is only on your last rib. If that's all, the higher you can get your arms up without shrugging. So long neck. I'm gonna move mine up because for those of you who can get them up, ladies, that will be four finger right here, right along the bra line. We're gonna push in on those ribs, expand your ribs, and exhale together. And inhale, exhale. Great job. Did you know by doing really good deep breathing, that lowers your cortisol levels, which are your stress hormone. It impacts your immune system positively. So it's gonna boost our, in, our uh, immune system so we can fight off bad viruses. It is going to help lower the acidity of your whole body, which means your blood acidity is going to neutralize. Your muscles will relax. And that's why breathing is in every single exercise modality that there is. You see it in yoga, tai chi, boxing. You have to breathe. Of course, it's life sustaining, so it's really important. So remember that I'm not leaving you. I will be here for you. We're in this fight together. Thank you for tuning in, and um, we'll see you next week.